So, the new Battlefield was announced, and I'm very excited for it. I love Modern Warfare. Unfortunately, I only have access to Battlefield 1 and 5, so we're just going to be some gameplay of Battlefield 5 while I talk about my thoughts about Battlefield 42. This is Throwbacks, so let's begin. Hello everyone on the internet, and welcome back. I'm your host, Envy, and welcome... Envy Gaming, and welcome back to my favorite series I like to do in the summer after the release of when there's sequels or a new game from a franchise gameplay like Battlefield released a new game. I go visit one of their old games and talk about what made this game amazing and what I'm looking forward to in the next one. So the new Battlefield, Battlefield 2042, which is supposed to be essentially basically a futuristic possible future of modern warfare. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, that seems kind of weird, but think of it like Call of Duty Black Ops 2, you know? It was a possible future, and that future is coming close, actually. It's gonna be here in the next three years, and I gotta say, it's not far off. I mean, like, we're using drones. We haven't really used robotics yet since we went with electricity, but yeah, I mean, we, we're pretty close, actually. Heck, I think drones are actually pretty capable of shooting guns now, actually, come to think of it. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is essentially this was really incredible. They had like a dog and stuff. One of the things I love about Battlefield is these big wars. Like, I'm down here, but we're getting attacked by multiple people on all sides. And it is just absolutely incredible. Look at that, like fire everywhere. There's a tank up there. And keep in mind, like, it is not attacking us right now. But I'm a medic, and I have to heal my friends. Okay, now I'm dead. And now it tells me the information about the other character, lets me know what was up, and of course, then there's this. This is 50-50. I really don't like it, but I understand if we have this in the next battlefield, I'm okay with it. Now onto the different classes, Assault, Medic, and Support, and Recon. All of them are very good. I just hope that mostly there's a lot of, like, real steel variants, so to speak. It would be nice if the medic gets to use a Chris Vector. And that's another thing is, um, mostly, like, how the guns work. Because they're pretty much tied to, like, you know, SMG or bolt-action carbine, you know. Battlefield 4 had a really good variety of different weapons and stuff like that, so I hope they have something more of a Battlefield kind of variety. That's all. <laughs> Using M1 Garand. But yeah, as you can see, I'm now in Assault, so we can just move up, and everything. Another thing was the Orders. The Orders were always unique and fun. What I loved it was the leader could call upon some special units and equipment if needed. Another thing that I'm really hoping for is Battlefield has, like, the Sniper, and they really utilize that Sniper, you know? Because so look at this. It's a nice, simple job. Bolt action, quiet, silent, and deadly. When it came to, like, equipment, make sure to make each equipment unique and awesome. Also, when it comes to, like, the robots and stuff, like the robot dog, please make sure not that it's not, you know, you need a special weapon to kill it. Like, I can use basically a pistol to kill it. That's all. It's like this. See? Simple and easy. As well as a good customizability. And I love just how you can deploy on the battlefield, and I really hope we have, like, games like Conquest and everything, like these really huge, incredible battles. And I'm very curious about how the dynamic weather system is going to work. I really hope that that works out very well. So yeah, I'm just really curious. But yeah, I mean, like, I'm just very curious about just essentially what are we looking at here, like... Like, how detailed will this modern slash futuristic possible future could happen? Another thing is the origin story and history and lore, since it's just a multiplayer. There's no campaign, there's no this or that, and I think that's a really good choice to make, actually, because let's face it, the story is nice, but if it's just, you know, the multiplayer, that's perfect. But they do have a story actually explaining it. Basically, everybody's a bunch of nobodies, and they were hired by a country to fight for their future. Future for a better tomorrow, and that's pretty much it. And that is the most awesomest way a person could fight for every day. 
because that is very good because that gives you the player that emotion that connection because it's you you're fighting for this now of course the enemy teams are going to be russian and us if i recall correctly but please don't quote me on any of this stuff this is just like whatever i could scrounge up once when it came out and stuff like that okay also one last thing is please do not have this stupid med kit thing it's just nah make it like call of duty you just lie down somewhere and you'll heal up or maybe not or can you at least improve it Oh, double headshot! Dang, I'm getting good with a sniper. Also, I really don't like that they are these medics using SMGs and stuff like that. And as you can see, see like that, there's like a lot of medics. How do you counter medics? You use different something. And that's another thing, is really just having a lot of like, counters. To counter this, counter that, to counter this. That's what I would really love in this new battlefield. So that way it always keeps things fresh and interesting. Like, you can't just be a fixed sniper player. You gotta use other things to survive. That's all. Now then, as for improvements, not really much. I mean, like, having the ability to move around like this with the motions, really good. So I can't complain there. But there is this one thing called fortifications. Please remove that. We do not need this. What I want is to build a trap inside of a hotel room, inside of an elevator. That's inside the lobby. So it's a chain reaction like traps and stuff like that. Or maybe something ridiculous like I drive a ATV or something like that. Or, you know, a jeep into an elevator. And my buddy has a rocket launcher and we just blow up each of the rooms. So yeah, just having a lot of destruction. Like you can destroy every building on the map. Like skyscrapers and everything get destroyed. That would be awesome. Ooh, you know what? Tell you what, if we get 400 subscribers before Battlefield comes out, I will, personally, do a Private Ryan... No, wait, hang on, what was it? The Hacksaw Ridge Challenge? It's essentially this challenge in which it's just me reviving a couple of people, a ton of people, but the thing is, I can't kill anyone. Another thing is also, please fix the bugs. Also, when it comes to like the two years, make sure you guys are really giving a good amount of content. New guns, possibilities, and stuff like that. Even like, guns that are being tested or was a concept idea. Like, I know there is a lot of firearms out there that aren't really even tested. And if you need inspiration, airsoft. Just look at some airsoft guns. Trust me, there's like tons of custom works and just say, Yeah, it can be a firearm. Yeah, that's it. Call it a day. Congratulations, you just made over 200 guns and all you did was look at a website for concept ideas. Another thing that I for that just came to me is customization. You guys gotta have strong customization because I really loved this whole battlefield customization. It was really good and really thought out. Though I would strongly recommend have some more like special legendary stuff like those legendary characters. Like you could swap out like torsos and everything like that. That would be even cooler. You know, really just make you feel like you are a warmonger of destruction and chaos. Mm -hmm. Look at this, we're being mortared fired or something. I don't even know what's going on. And quite frankly, I don't care. Why? Because we are surviving. Or maybe not, but as you can see, it's remember moments like this of a grenade hitting me and I'm just splattering across the room. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Did we win? defeat we might have lost but i had a really fun time and so yeah that's pretty much how i would view the whole new battlefield hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know in your thoughts comments down below stay tuned for tomorrow when we talk about a new video of the q a and stay tuned for the future for wednesday when we talk about a summary of all the games i'm looking forward to from e3 see you guys again this is nv gaming signing off don't forget to invest in dogecoin well, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you would, please leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly, have a nice day.